And now, live from Uptown Greenville in the Pirate Radio Studios, you're watching the Pirate Radio Trivia Show. Now, here's your host, Clip Bra. All right. Thank you, Johnny. You look great today. Welcome in to Pirate Radio Trivia. Clip Brock here in the Pirate Radio Studios. And we've got a great game for you today. Six rounds of trivia questions for our contestants, who we will meet right now. To my right... Wearing the green, representing the B-Team sports trivia team from A.J. McMurphy's and the B-Team softball team, he is Pat McGlynn. Pat, welcome. Thanks, Clip. Thanks for having me. Tell us uh, two things about yourself. Uh, I work in the sports information office. That's one. At ECU, and I'm a big Syracuse basketball fan. Okay, and we will uh, find that out later on in today's program. To my left, we have Chad Moore. Hello, Chad. Hey, what's up, man? Tell us... Three things about yourself. Oh, three things about myself. <laughs> yes. Well, I work in customer service at Camping World. All right. I am a big Titans football fan. Okay. And uh, we've known each other since we were born. That What's is that? true. Those are three facts. <laughs> Chad was a part of our Say by the Bell trivia. No. You weren't? Nope. I was, uh, I was answering was on Twitter. Steve, Jenny, Sharonda, myself, Shirley. Right. Uh, never nope. mind. Well, that's a bummer. I, I listened to it. <laughs> you know Saved by the Bell right. trivia. Okay. Well, you weren't on that. Chad, welcome. Pat, welcome. It is great to have you folks in studio. We've been doing this via Zoom. Today is our first in-studio broadcast. We have Johnny, a.k.a. Chandler Honeycutt, running the audio side of things, and the big dog, Glenn Griffin, helping out uh, and running things on the video side. Are we all good, guys, in Studio B, Control Room B? Uh, here we go. All right, uh, folks, this game is brought to you by White Claw Hard Seltzer. What's better than a cold White Claw on a hot summer day? You can't answer that because nothing's better. Uh, you can go home with a 12-pack of White Claw if you are today's champion. Also, a $25 gift card to A.J. McMurphy's. What's better than sitting outside on A.J.'s patio drinking a cold White Claw? Nothing. 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 Can't beat it. Uh, All of that can be yours if you are today's champion. All right, so rules are, Pat, we'll uh, we'll start with you. If you miss it, Chad can steal. The next question will be yours, Chad. We have six categories, and uh, I think we're ready to go. You guys ready? Let's do it. First category is College World Series. College World Series. Uh, The Pirates, of course, have the distinction... Uh, at the time of this recording, anyway, of having the most NCAA tournament appearances without going to Omaha. Pat, your question is, uh, name the ACC school that has the most College World Series appearances without winning a College World Series. Name the ACC school Mm. that has the most College World Series appearances without winning a College World Series. Uh, Let's go with, I'm going to go with NC State. All right, NC State is incorrect, Pat. I am sorry, Chad, for the steal. Uh, I'm just going to guess with the Tar Heels. Uh, They are up there, but that is incorrect as well. The answer is Florida State. Mm -hmm. Florida State. Uh, They have the most appearances without a College World Series title. Your question, Chad, is name the ACC school with the second most Appearances in Omaha without a College World Series title. Hmm. The second most. Yep. Behind Florida State. I'm just going to go with my original answer of the Tar Heels. Okay, that would be incorrect. They are third on the list. <laughs> Pat for the steal. Um, going to go with your original answer, too? No, no. Okay. We're going to stay away from that. Uh, I'm going to go Louisville. That is incorrect. The answer is the Tigers of Clemson. I believe was Virginia when they won a few years ago the first ACC school to win. Does that sound? No. A, uh, hey, Syracuse guy, you're ACC now, not Big East. No baseball up there. Ah, touche, touche. A big lacrosse school. All right, we are underway, and neither opponent has a point. Off to a hard start. A hard start. <laughs> a hard start. A hard start. Where are you from, Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> Another fact we didn't know about Chad. Born in Chicago, immediately moved to Winterville. <laughs> right. Right uh, right out of the birth. All right. Uh, let's go movies. We're going to go best picture winners. I'm going to name uh, three actors from the movie and the year. And you're going to tell me the film. Pat, we're going to start with you. 
2004, Clint Eastwood, Hillary Swank, Morgan Freeman. That would be Million Dollar Baby. That is correct. Uh, I know all about that movie. I have never seen it. Mm, never, sure. never seen the film. Have you seen it? Did you like it? Uh, I think it's a pretty big tearjerker. Pretty sad one. Ah, yeah. okay. Tearjerker. Yeah. Chad, 2009. Okay. Tommy Lee Jones, Javier Bardem, and Josh Brolin. Uh, no Country for Old Men. That is correct. I have seen that movie, and it is fantastic. All right, so you guys are movie buffs and not sports guys. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> All right, well done there. Well done there. All right, round three. Each contestant has a specialty category, and Pat's is Syracuse basketball. Go Orange. Uh, go Orange. Jim Beheim going to outlast all these old guys, yep. apparently. He's going to get <laughs> robot parts and just keep coaching forever. And just keep whining his yep. way to the top. All right, uh, your question. The 11th overall pick of the 2013 NBA draft has the record for steals in a season at Syracuse with a 111 in 2012-13. That would be Michael Carter-Williams. Michael Carter-Williams is correct. <laughs> Interesting note, I believe. Didn't he have a triple double in his NBA debut? Yeah, I guess. Didn't, didn't do anything the rest of his life. <laughs> well, he won, he won the rookie of the year that first year, okay. and then that was that was pretty much it. Pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Uh, Pat gets the Syracuse basketball question. Chad, your Syracuse basketball question. All right. Um, in 2009, Syracuse won 127 to 117 in a six overtime game in the quarterfinals of the Big East tournament. Uh, AJ Price had 33 points for this losing team to Syracuse. We all can see the game. Right. Who did Syracuse beat? Was it Devendorf or was that uh, that was at the one that would have ended regulation, but it was too late. AJ Price, 33 points for what team, Chad? Man, I, honestly, I don't remember, so I'm gonna go with Georgetown. Georgetown is incorrect. <laughs> Pat, that was UConn. It was Connecticut. Pat sweeps the Syracuse round. Now, Chad. You get your specialty category. Once again, you're watching Pirate Radio Trivia, brought to, you, brought to you by White Claw Hard Seltzer. Nothing tastes quite like it. Also, A.J. McMurphy's and our winner today will go home with a 12-pack of White Claw and a $25 gift card to A.J. McMurphy's. All right, Chad, Titans football. Tell us again why you're a Titans fan. Well, uh, honestly, it's a sports follies video we watched when we were younger that yep. uh, had the Houston Oilers on it and Jerry Glanville. So that's where my fandom started. And then Chris Johnson helped yeah, that out a little bit, exactly. obviously. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Chad. Oh, I'm sorry, Pat. This is your question first. He got into coaching as a grad assistant in 1969. He last coached in the NFL in 2019. He was the head coach on the opposing sideline of the Music City Miracle. Name that coach. We all know the Music City Miracle. Who was on the opposing sideline as the head coach that day? Was it Chan Gailey? Chan Gailey is incorrect. <laughs> all right, Chad. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> I can see him. Oh. He uh, got into coaching in 1969. He last coached in the NFL in 2019. He was the head coach on the opposing sideline during gonna... the Music City Miracle. I can see his face. I cannot think of his name because I know he was also the like Dallas's defensive coordinator. Yep. Oh, why well, I can't think of his name. Yeah, um, you gonna pass? Yeah, I can't think of his name. Did that ring any bells to you when he said he's a defensive coordinator for a bunch of teams? Was it Wade Phillips? Then? Wade yeah. Phillips is the answer. Chad, that's more. Uh, which Pat, you don't get a point for that, but that's that was a Bills question technically, but as a Titans fan. Because they kept showing him on the sidelines right, after the play. I can keep play. seeing him like, no. <laughs> and I can... All right. All right, Chad. You got to get this one. Yeah. Earl Campbell, Eddie George, Derrick Henry, Chris Johnson are the franchise's top four leaders in rushing touchdowns. This player is fifth all time with 36 rushing touchdowns. This player is fifth all time behind the big four running backs there and this goes to obviously I said Earl Campbell's name so it would be the Oilers Titans franchise Um, I knew those four (laughs) yeah I don't know this is this is sad well this is pretty tough pretty Um, tough you want to thought I guess I don't even I don't even have one like I'm completely drawing a blank like Lindell White that's not right okay Lindell White is incorrect I was thinking Lindell White. That was on my potential list because that's probably the only other Titan running back I know. Uh, I'm going to go off the running back board. I'm going to go Steve McNair. 
Steve McNair is correct. Well done, Pat. I was out of I was out of Titans running back. So I did say option. this player, uh, not this running right. back. So Steve Air McNair. Don't let the air fool you. Also had 36 rushing touchdowns. All right, uh, Pat. You're going. Oh, okay. We're going to go back and forth here on this one. So you'll give an answer, and then Chad will give an answer, and we'll go until uh, the first person misses. Uh, East Carolina, back in a Super Regional. Name the teams that ECU has lost to in a Super Regional prior to 2021. I have five on my list, and we'll start with you. Uh, Louisville. Okay, Louisville is correct. Chad? Texas Tech. Texas Tech is correct. Pat? Uh, Tennessee. Tennessee is correct. Chad? Uh, Two left. I have a feeling I'm wrong, but Virginia. Virginia is incorrect. Pat, you can close it out here. Georgia. Georgia. I guess we'll well, we'll just end it there. Uh, the other answer is North Carolina and South Carolina. North Carolina and South Carolina. Those are the schools that ECU has lost to in a super regional. Pat with a commanding six yeah. to two lead here. He's wrapped up the game, but we will finish it out. Uh, your answers here will be either Pat or Chad. Pat or Chad. Um, Pat, he was a 1952 NFL champion kicker. Uh, he's more known for being a play-by-play voice from 1974 to 2010. This could be Pat or Chad, or this has to be Pat. Pat or Chad. I have no idea. I'm going to pass. Pass. Pat Summerall. Chad has his third point tonight. Yes. Pat Summerall, one of the greatest voices of all time. Not really a voice you think of when you think of a kicker. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> all right, uh, Chad. He is the lead singer of a band that have had such hits as Leader of Men, How You Remind Me, and Figured You Out. Chad Kroger of Nickelback. <laughs> that is correct. A strong finish from Chad. Boy, if you'd have gotten Wade Phillips, right, we would be going into overtime right now. But that's the way. The cookie crumbles six to four. Pat, congratulations on another championship from B Team. Yeah, B Team's been doing well in the show. They have represented. Uh, we may have a fun idea. We have a lot of ideas. We'll see if Glenn can and myself can actually do this. We're thinking about a summer tournament, a two on two tournament. Uh, give me Jody Jones. That's my partner. Okay. Where I think this whole thing. He's already picking his partner. Yeah. All right. Uh, Pat, congratulations, man. Uh, we will see you again down the road. And Chad. Uh, you had a nice winning streak going on Pirate Radio Live, so you were due for a loss. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, strong performance today, though. Six to four, our final score. Pat over Chad. Pat will walk home with a 12-pack of White Claw hard seltzer and a $25 gift card to A.J. McMurphy's. Visit whiteclaw.com today. White Claw hard seltzer proudly distributed by Coastal Beverage. Please drink responsibly. Johnny, a.k.a. Chandler, great work. Glenn Griffin, thank you. For Pat and Chad, I'm Cliff Brock. We'll see you next time on Pirate Radio Trivia.